In this video, I'm going to share with you 10 Canva tips, tricks, and hacks that you can apply today to become a better designer and make your workflow a whole lot smoother. Let's dive in. Let's start with the first tip. When working in Canva, there are some basic elements we use repeatedly, like shapes, text, and lines. Instead of manually searching for them in the Elements tab, you can use simple keyboard shortcuts to add them instantly. Press C to add a circle, R for a rectangle, T for text, and L for a line. This makes designing much faster. But that's not all. If you want to add photos, graphics, or any other element, just press slash on your keyboard. A pop-up will appear where you can search for anything. Templates, graphics, photos, videos, everything in one place. Click on the one you need, and it will be added to your design. These shortcuts will save you a lot of time. If you want to explore more shortcuts, I'll leave a link in the description where you can check out Canva's full shortcut guide. Choosing the right colors for your design can be time-consuming, especially if you manually change the color of each element one by one. But there's an easier way. Instead of manually adjusting colors, go to Designs, then click Styles, and open the color palettes. Here, you'll find plenty of ready-made color palettes. Just click on any palette, and Canva will apply it to your entire design. If you don't like the first combination, click on the same palette again. This will shuffle the colors to give you a fresh variation. This saves a lot of time compared to adjusting each element separately. You can also import your own color palettes. If you download a color palette image from Google, just upload it to Canva, right-click on it, and select Apply Colors to Page. Canva will extract colors from the image and apply them to your design. And if you want to shuffle the colors again, simply right-click and apply them again. Bonus tip, if you also want to change fonts along with colors, just go back to Styles, Open Combinations. Now if you click on any of these style, Canva will adjust both colors and fonts, giving your design a completely new look with a single click. Now, let's say you're working with an image and want to change the color of an object in an image. Canva has a built-in tool for that. Click on your image, go to Edit, then click Adjust and scroll down to find the Edit Colors option. Here, you'll see two main colors. The first one is usually for the background, and the second one is for the object itself. For example, I want to change the color of the car, I'll adjust the hue slider, and the car's color will change accordingly. Below that, you'll find the saturation slider. If you increase it, the color becomes sharper and more vibrant. This works great for changing clothing colors too. Let's say I have an image with a blue suit. I can go to Edit, select the blue color, change it to something else, and adjust the saturation for a natural look. It's a super handy tool for tweaking colors. Moving on to another useful trick. Sometimes you might want to crop an image from the corners, but Canva doesn't provide a direct option for this. However, there's a simple trick to do it. First, go to Apps, search for Image Blender, and install it. Although this app is mainly for blending images, We'll use it to crop corners. Once installed, click on Blend Selected Image, and you'll see linear settings appear on your image. Now, adjust the points in the corners to shape the crop. Set the Strength slider to 100, and refine the points as needed. Click Save, and your image will have cropped corners. If you want to crop in a circular shape, switch to the Radial option. Increase the circle size. Place it over the area you want to keep. Set the strength to 100 and save it. This is a great way to create rounded image effects in Canva. Now, let's talk about adding brand logos. Sometimes you need a specific brand's logo for a design, but when you search in Canva's Elements tab, you might not find the exact one. Instead of downloading logos from third-party websites, you can use a free Canva app called BrandFetch. Go to Apps, search for BrandFetch, and open it. Type in the name of any brand, and it will instantly show you a collection of official logos in high quality. Just click on the one you need, and it'll be added to your design. Quick, easy, and hassle-free. You can search for any brand here, and you will find their logo. Now, moving on to the next tip, you've probably seen stylish interlocking text designs on social media where letters overlap seamlessly. Well, you can easily create this effect in Canva. Start by adding a new page, Go to text and insert a heading. Type the first letter, 
then duplicate it and type the second letter. Select both letters and increase their size. Next, choose a font that fits your style. Adjust the sizes if needed and position the second letter so that it overlaps the first one. Once the letters are properly aligned, change the color of the second letter to make the effect more prominent. Now, to complete the interlock effect, duplicate the page and delete the first letter on the duplicate page. Click Share and Download and make sure to select Transparent Background, select the current page, and click Download. Once downloaded, upload the image back into Canva and place it over the original text. Now, send the second letter behind the first one and carefully align the overlaying image with the second letter. Finally, crop the new image from the top to create the perfect interlock effect. And there you have it, an easy way to create stylish, interlocking text. Moving on to another time-saving trick. When you're working with templates, you often need to update colors or fonts to match your branding. Instead of manually changing each element, Canva has a copy style tool that makes this effortless. For example, if you've changed the color of one icon in a template, now if you want to apply it to other icon, simply click on copy style from the toolbar. Then click on the icon you want to update, and Canva will instantly apply the new color to it. And if you want to change multiple elements at once, copy the style again and select them all, and it will apply the styles to all the same elements. This trick also works with fonts. Let's change this font, copy style, and select the text you want to change. This is a massive time saver when editing templates. Now, let's talk about a creative effect. Placing text behind an object in an image. Normally, when you add text to a design, it stays on top of everything. But with this trick, you can make text look like it's naturally part of the scene. Start by adding a photo to a new page and resize it to fill the canvas. Now let's copy a text from above page and add it here. Now to move it behind an object, select the image, go to edit, and click on magic grab. This tool allows you to separate any object from an image with just one click. Simply select the object, click grab, and within a few seconds, Canva will extract it. Now you can freely adjust the text's position, making it appear behind the object. This works great for adding text behind people, buildings, or other objects in a scene. Now, let's take the previous tip a step further and turn it into a cool, flickering neon effect. First, select the text and go to Effects. Apply the neon effect to give it a glowing look. Then, duplicate the text and change its effect to hollow. Reduce the thickness to about 15. Now, to make it flicker like a real neon sign, select the neon text, click Animate, and choose the neon animation. Set it to character mode and set the intensity. Finally, place the outline text on top of the glowing text and send it backward. Now the effect is ready and you'll see the text flickering just like a real neon sign. Now let's move on to the last tip where we'll create a stylish cutoff image effect often seen in posters. The best part? It's super easy to do in Canva. Start by adding a photo and increasing its size. Next, remove the background, then go to Elements, and search for a curved line. Then go to Graphics, and scroll down. Insert this curved shape. Now, increase the size and position it at the bottom of the image to create the cutoff effect. To blend it seamlessly, change its color to match the background. To refine the look, go back to Elements, add a circle, and position it over any unwanted areas. Again, change its color to match the background, ensuring everything blends perfectly. Once the effect looks good, click Share and download the image. Now add a new page, insert the downloaded image, and adjust the size by cropping out any extra space. Then return to Elements and add the same curved shape at the bottom again to enhance the effect. And that's it! You've created a clean and modern cutoff image effect. You can experiment with different shapes to create unique styles that stand out. So, those were 10 awesome Canva tips to speed up your design workflow. I hope you found them helpful. Now, if you want to discover the best Canva apps to take your designs even further, watch this video next. I'll see you there.